How good is a $40 4K Wi-Fi microscope? Please excuse my, my gunky sounding voice. I just got over a cold, so you'll be able to hear that as I talk more and more. But well, let's just get into it. I actually do have another Wi-Fi microscope somewhere. I don't really know what happened to it. I, I think it's in my daughter's room. I think we were using it to look at different things underneath the microscope, and I just never got it out of there, and it probably got buried in all of her toys and stuff like that. So I wasn't too upset about it because I wanted to get a new microscope anyway because the one that I already had is, I think it's only like a 720p Wi-Fi microscope and it's it works but I've wanted a 4k microscope for a while now and I got on Amazon last week and I saw that these ones are on sale for $40 and I'm like eh, you know what for 40 bucks I'll, I'll, I'll check it out you know why not uh, as you can see it just says 4k Wi-Fi microscope everywhere there's no real branding on the box at all so that kind of leads me to believe that this is one of those products that is kind of just like mass manufactured by a certain company and then other companies will then purchase this and just kind of rebrand it underneath their own brand which is fine there's nothing wrong with that it's kind of a way to keep costs down uh, but chances are if you buy this from a different vendor that I bought this from you're probably going to get something either exactly the same or something very very similar because like I said this is the kind of thing that they usually just rebrand and resell under another brand which is fine and let's just check out the box real quick it kind of gives you a little exploded view of the different components of the microscope itself we're not really all that interested in it we're just interested in how this functions apparently i think that they're trying to say that you can like look at like diamonds or gemstones here i don't really know why they have a bitcoin symbol there like maybe for looking at like i don't know i really don't know why they'd have a bitcoin symbol there because bitcoins are electronic currency so maybe a computer or something but over here is a circuit board which i, I do get that like like you could use this for soldering or whatever that's fine a really delicious skin lesion or a skin rash on there that's cool some kind of insect looks like a Maybe a fruit fly head or something like that. And then we got some plant nodules or some some kind of something of it, like related to a plant. You know? And on this side, we have Discovery 4K UHD high pixels, long battery life, photo video, 4K Wi-Fi microscope, bunch of arbitrary stuff we're not worried, really worried about. And on the back, about this item, picture resolution 3840 by 2160, takes images in JPEG format, video format is MP4 or AVI focal length is zero to infinity that's cool battery capacity 1100 milliamps that's actually pretty good for something like this battery life about four hours that's about what you'd expect at least that's what i expect from my old microscope that i had power input it just charges with a usb five volts that's nice uh, wireless transmission it uses just regular wi-fi transmissions and if you want to hook this up to a computer you can just use a regular usb cable down here you can see it says for windows computer for mac computer for notebook you can use this on an Android phone, which I'm going to be using it on an Android tablet. I'm also going to be putting the app on my phone too, so whenever I go out and look at stuff. Uh, but you can also use it for an iPhone. That's that's nice, or a tablet, or an iPad. So yeah, let's just kind of get into this and see what we're dealing with. Uh, let's see. So right off the bat, got a couple QR codes for downloading the the app for it. Kind of tells you how to set this up so that you can work it on your phone. And they're showing you how to use it on your PC. I don't know if anybody really wants to read any of this, so there you go. In case you do, there you go. Basic instructions like you'd expect. And then here's the overview of the microscope itself. You can see that we have a USB. Yeah, it looks like a micro USB port on the top for charging and output if you decide to use this as a USB microscope. Uh, looks like we have the camera. Well, the microscope lens in the very center and then around that is a ring of leds which is very common with these types of microscopes zoom in and zoom out buttons and then this part right here in the middle is the focal part you can turn that and then you can use that to focus down on whatever it is you're trying to look at and there's a brightness adjustment for the leds on the front put those aside there's the usb cable and like i said i'm pretty sure it's yep micro usb for something like this micro usb isn't a big deal i would rather have uh USB-C nowadays, but for something like this, it's not the end of the world. There's the microscope itself. Get to that in a second. 
are you? Yeah, okay, a little calibration card. This is, that's kind of nice. You can put this underneath whatever it is you're looking at, and you can use this to kind of gauge the size of whatever specimen you're trying to look at. So that's cool. A little stand here. It's like it's fairly adjustable. It looks like the microscope just kind of clips into... Yeah, it just kind of clips into that little half ring right there, and it seems to secure it pretty good. And then whatever position you need it to be, you can lock it in with this wing nut here. But honestly, I probably won't use this that much, so I'm not too worried about this. It doesn't really seem to be all that useful, to be completely honest with you, because it's... I mean, I guess this is fine for certain things, like if all you're looking at is like a, a coin or a dollar bill or something, it's probably fine. But yeah, like this isn't really going to be super useful if you need to be like higher off the specimen than what this actually can provide so it's it's it is what it is that's fine but let's get to the microscope itself this is what we're really interested in the bottom has a nice little lens cover to keep dust and stuff off the lens we'll just leave that on there while we're doing this it seems to be fairly well built let me see how heavy this is yeah, approximately 86 grams thereabouts that's cool i don't know if that says anything about quality but yeah we'll go with that so about 86 grams and let's see see this is a little this is a little optimistic right here 50 Dang it. 50 times magnification to a thousand times magnification. That's that's optimistic. You got to have an expectation of reality whenever it comes to these things. These are not an actual microscope that you'll be able to look at like sperm cells or something like that with this. Okay, let's just kind of pull that bandage off right now. This is for magnifying to a fairly high degree, but you are by no means going to be able to like look at individual human skin cells and things like that with this. Okay, so let's just get that out of the way right now. This is for magnifying really small things, but not for magnifying like microscopic things, okay? It seems to be fairly well built, so that's that's good. And here's the adjustment ring right here. Turn that to, it, it feels good. Like it feels very, very gradient and very precise actually too. So that's pretty nice. Yeah, it just moves the lens up and down well to focus a little bit better. Okay, so let me get on my tablet here. I'm just going to follow the instructions on here, and I'm just going to download the app that it tells you to download here onto my tablet, and then we'll go from there. Alrighty, I have it all set up. All you gotta do in order to connect it to the tablet or whatever that you're using this on, just follow the instructions. The instructions actually are pretty concise. They actually are fairly straightforward and just kind of get to the point and worked fairly well. This was a very seamless setup. So as you can see, this is just, let me focus down on this, on my workbench here. And you can see, just kind of transmits in real time what your microscope is seeing. And then it transmits that over the Wi-Fi connection onto the screen. So that's cool. Let me check out my pants here. Yeah. It looks pretty good, honestly. Holy cow. That's a pretty good picture. Bump it up to the highest magnification, well, to the highest resolution. Man, that looks fantastic, actually. That looks really, really good. Great. Let's see what my arm looks like here. Okay. Yeah, that's what, well, I tell you what, it looks good on, like, my, my phone's camera here, but just looking at this screen, like this tablet screen in, in person, it's just, this is actually really, really good. Check out my shirt. Yeah, that looks fantastic. Okay, so here, on these little watch glasses here, I have some just regular table salt, some NaCl. Here I have some, this is one of the first chemicals I ever synthesized. This is some really, really small crystals of copper sulfate, and I want to see what these look like magnified. And then in this Petri dish is a very contaminated yellow chicken of the woods mushroom culture that I have just been kind of letting grow out. I just see what it does. So first, let's look at the table salt. See what the table salt looks like underneath the microscope. Yeah, that's about what you'd expect from table salt. That looks fantastic. Yeah, it looks great. Look at that. Okay. Okay, so let's go to the copper sulfate. I want to see what this looks like magnified now. Oh. 
Oh yeah, yeah, those are definitely little, little itty bitty copper sulfate crystals. That's what you'd expect from copper sulfate. They're just really, really small. You can't really tell whenever it's in a big cluster like this. But yeah, you can see the little individual crystals there in the bottom. Okay, yeah, hold on, let me set up this little stand that comes with this so I can hover this, so I can hover this over the petri dish without the lid on it, okay? Hold on. See, this is kind of the, the concern that I had whenever I saw this little stand. I I don't really know how they expect you to... Like, look at this. I, I don't really know how they expect you to put anything under this. Hold on. It's almost like I'm wondering if they want you to, like, mount this on, like, the wall or something so that you can have it hanging down kind of like that. I was going to put it in here, but this is too wide. This ring is too wide for this particular microscope, so I guess, eh, whatever, I'll just do this. I'll just hover it over with my hand. Okay, I'll figure out a better way to clamp that to something. Yeah, it looks good. As soon as I figure out a better way to clamp this down so I can, like, hold it on something. You can see right there at the end, that's actually mushroom mycelium growing out it's actually turning the agar red early from the enzymes in the chicken of the woods mushroom and there's the initial chicken of the woods culture you can get a little closer to that i'm actually really impressed i'm gonna turn this off now turn off all you do is hold down the power button for like three seconds it turns it off you're done so yeah, no, I'm actually really impressed with this little this little 4K microscope. For 40 bucks, that's a pretty good purchase right there. I'll probably be using this a lot in the upcoming, not this mushroom season, well, not this year, just because mushroom season's almost over. But like next mushroom season, I'll probably be taking this out into the woods a lot just to look at stuff. But yeah, I, I bought this with my own money. I didn't, no, this wasn't sent to me or anything. This is not a sponsor. I'm just giving you my honest review on it. For $40 though, I'd recommend it. This is a really, really good little microscope for the price. You could do a lot with this little guy. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.